Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. So today we will see how you can pre-select the slicer value of the year to the current year. Okay, so it is something going to be like like the one that you're seeing on my screen. But remember, this is the method two that I'll be showing in the second video. For part one, for method one, if you want something like this, then I'll be giving the link to the video. You can go ahead and refer to the month year this which i have done with minimum dax but using a custom visual so this is this particular method which i am showing you is purely using dax so for this what you have to do as i told you you need a date dimension in your model and obviously your date dimension is linked to your main table using one to many relationship and we'll be using the date dimension extensively in this approach so let us go to the date dimension first I'll select the date dimension from here and the thing that you need to do is you have to uh, you know uh, since it's a year so there is a uh, there is a year column in this date dimension which is this okay so these are my year values if you see what are the year values it is 2020 2021 22 and 23 so uh, I'm recording this video as of 22nd of September 23 which means the current year is 2023 so for that uh, first of all we have to create a uh, to achieve the default year selection in the slicer we have to create a custom column right so uh, let us see how you can do that uh, in your power query so i'll go ahead to query editor and guys this is going to be the code uh, it's not that difficult uh, so don't worry you do not have to know a lot of function so I've, I have used only three functions over here we paste this code in notepad and so that you can view better I'll try to zoom this in okay so the first function that we'll be using is uh, date time dot local now which will give me the current time that I'm in and from this part which is highlighted in blue I need to extract the year so the m query to do that is date dot year obviously i'm extracting the year and i'll compare it with my year so i'll with the if condition i'll say if this uh, today's year is equal to the year of the year column then default this to the current year else uh, give me year itself and why i have done text dot from is because if you see the year so this is the year column of the date dimension and as you can clearly see that the type of this year is it is of type uh, number right so if you now go to the if condition that i have written so i am saying that if the year is matching with today's year that is the current year then give me current year else so the current year is in text right so uh, this particular thing in the then clause is in text so the else also has to return a text not a number that's why we are giving text dot from so once you give this code what will happen is it will generate a particular column custom column where you will see the values uh, whatever year values we are having in this year column the same but for the current year you will see as C U R R E N T Y E A R written, right? So this is this is the one that I'm talking about, right? So if you see the year for this over here, it is 2023, right? Till this particular row, and below this the values are 2020, right? So for the custom, I'm getting entire chunk. Wherever we are getting 2023, you will get current year. Wherever it is not there, you will get the year column itself so now we have to use this custom column in my slicer so that's what i have done i have taken a simple slicer over here and i have dragged and dropped this particular custom column from my date dimension over here right so all at last what you will get 2023 that is your current year will be defaulted to current year and for 2024 when you when the year moves into the name when we proceed to the next year what will happen is the value of 2023 will remain constant and 2024 will get highlighted as the current year one more thing you can do to make it a bit more customized if it is looking a bit odd you can go ahead 
and change the slicer setting okay so from vertical list you just convert this to a drop down automatically and select instead of all you by default select the current year so always the current year will be selected in your drop down as the current year so guys if you like my videos and if you find this useful please do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any comments related to this particular method do let me know in the comment section and as always thanks for watching bye bye